Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video today and talk to you about the invitation process. Just a really quick tip. So I know many of us struggle with the fact that we don't want to come off as salesy or pushy or be that MLM lady. You know, we want to be genuine. We want people to know that we care. So how do we come across that way when we're inviting people? So I want to give you a really quick scenario. Say it's date night. You guys get, you and your hubby, get to go out on a date and you get to go to a new restaurant. The service is amazing. The food is amazing. Dessert, like the best dessert you've ever had, okay? You get done. What do you do? Well, usually what happens is you tell all your friends. You're like, you have to try this restaurant. It's so, so good. You call your mom and you're like, this is the best restaurant I've ever been to. You even probably get on Facebook and type in that you just had the best dinner ever, right? Word of mouth, you talk about it. So why don't we treat what we do as coaches the exact same way? You're drinking Shakeology, which you love. You're doing the workout programs, which you know are working. And you're a coach. So why not approach what you're doing with that same sense of word of mouth, telling people what you're doing? Now you might say, well, okay, but I'm making money off this. Okay, well think about, there's program, rewards programs out there where if you refer a friend, you get $10 off. Do people refer their friend to get the $10 off or do they refer their friend because they know their friend's going to have this amazing experience? See what I'm saying? Like they refer their friend because they know what they're getting is valuable and they know that it's going to be something that they're going to love. And yeah, they get a little kickback for it, but that's not the main reason that they do it. So here's the other thing. You know your heart. You know the place that you're coming from. And so other people can see that in your messages too. They know if you're being salesy. They know if you're sending a message like, I'm doing a challenge group, this is how you get in, here's my link, and then let me know when you're done and we'll get you in. That doesn't come from a place of the heart. But if you're being genuine and they can sense that and they feel and they know that you're being genuine and you know that you're being genuine, then what's the matter? Um, so this is going to come out in your messages. When you are messaging people from a place of wanting to help them, you know, wanting to get them on the path and seeing the success that you're seeing, don't feel guilty. I know it's hard not to, but don't. Because what do you have to get, feel guilty about? Inviting them to do what you're doing? Being successful like you're being successful? Um, so if you're genuine, do not feel guilty for inviting them. I hope this makes sense. I hope that this kind of helps you in your mind wrap around the fact that we're not wanting to, out, we're not out to get people. We're not out to make a quick buck off of people. Like the reason most of you have done this and you've told me this is because if you could just help one person and inspire one person, it would be all worth it. So why not turn that one into hundreds? Why not inspire hundreds of people to take a leap of faith and change their health, their lives. You guys are all so genuine and I see it in every single one of you. And I know you worry about coming off wrong to other people. And so I want, I made this video in hopes that maybe it'll kind of change that thought process in your brain so you can say, I get it. All right, I'll see you guys in a few weeks for another training.